Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of Gewurz Triminas here, uh, and uh, from opposite sides of the world. One from Alsace, the home of, well, where Alsace made its name, and uh, the other from uh, Chile. And uh, how do I sort out which way round they are? First one's higher alcohol, uh, second one's going to be a touch sweeter. I've done it by the very scientific method of um, this bottle's taller. So I'm going to do that one second. So I'm going to do the smaller bottle. It's still quite tall and sleek and elegant, but uh, this is the uh, Coralillo Gewurztraminer 2014 uh, from uh, the San Antonio Valley in Chile. Uh, and uh, Coralillo is uh, one of the labels from Matatic. And smells like classic Gewurz. Um, it's got the, uh, what I call the slightly jelly-like lime jelly, uh, lemon jelly, uh, a little bit of rose water in there, uh, a little bit of the lychee too, and um, it smells like it's going to be juicy and um, fresh, and uh, uh, but with a bit of a punch to it. And that's quite powerful and spicy. Um, I think it, it, it's, it feels like a dry wine, and I think when you've got no sweetness in Gewurztraminer, uh, it, the, the, the spice really comes more to the fore. The sugar almost rounds it out in the way that uh, if you have um, sweet uh, sweet wines with uh, with spicy food, it rounds out uh, the heat, the chili-like heat. Here, uh, you're left with this uh, burnt sugar character. Um, yes, uh, like crystallized oranges with a little bit of um, mm -hmm. a, a little bit of ginger on there. This spice running running through this freshness and weight. And um, it's a fascinating wine. And uh, there will be, if you put, they serve that to a room of, uh, well, it's a table of eight people. I reckon you have um, two people who will, will be hogging it, two people who will be wanting to chuck it out, and uh, the other four going, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, and uh, I find, yeah, I find it a fascinating wine. And uh, I, I really enjoy it. But. How much of it would I want to drink? That's all. That's always the question. Uh, I, I'm very, I'd be very happy having uh, two bottles of this in my cellar rather than two cases. But I would really enjoy drinking those two bottles with other people, of course. Um, next one is uh, a uh, Morrison's own label, Alsace Gewurz, 2014. A degree lower in alcohol, uh, but uh, I'm expecting something a touch sweeter. At least from that's what they say on the back label. Yes, this smells like it's going to be richer, rounder, uh, juicier, more peachy. Uh, if the first one was uh, was was on that uh, slight citrus and, um, uh, and and rose petal, uh, here it, there there is more of those slightly exotic character. Both of them have got the lychee. Uh, this one smells like it's going to be richer and oilier. And there's a smoky character in, in there, along with the ginger. Um, and it feels like it's a sim it's a simpler wine. Um, uh, it is sweeter. You've got this sweetness rounding out the finish, and uh, I mean, they, in, in terms of which, if I were to pick which order to do them in, again, I'm really not sure. This is not as concentrated as the the Coralillo, um, but it has that touch more sweetness. I think that the Coralillo, because of that real the sheer grunt of it, would ha would survive after it. But um, um, I think I and I prefer that. Uh, here it's probably uh, less controversial, uh, so more more people would enjoy that. But I don't think that uh, uh, when you when you've got the fans of this, they will just be far more enthusiastic than they are fans of the uh, uh, of the Morrison's Gewurz. Does that make sense? Have I waffled a bit too much? But uh, I prefer the Coralillo. Uh, but as I say, two bottles in the cellar rather than two cases. But I'd be very happy with those two. See you soon.